Now let's talk about force on inclined plate moving in the direction of jet. Now the plate has inclined not flat. Okay. And the angle between the direction of motion of jet and the plate is theta. Alright, so this is what you have. So the plate is moving with the velocity u, the jet is moving with the velocity v, so you will have a you know a velocity in between them or you can say the velocity of jet with respect to uh, velocity of uh, the plate is v minus u. Okay, because there is a red, you, know, you can say comparative motion in between the two, there is no nothing absolute in between them. So, uh, it, it is almost the same, but in this case, we'll have to take the force and the velocity component in a direction perpendicular to the plate. So, we have seen this in the uh, previous section also where the plate was stationary. So you will have the mass flow rate will be rho into a into v minus u that is the same thing. Now for the change of momentum, for change of momentum I will have to take this which is v minus u sin theta. So you will have your force as rho into a into v minus u into v minus u sin theta minus 0 because that is the component which is perpendicular to the plate and you, this will also be the uh, you know you can say force which is perpendicular to the plate. So you will have Fn as rho into A into V minus U square sin theta. So that is the value of the force exerted by the jet onto the plate in the normal direction to the plate. So again you will have some work done per second, so you would have this. So this would come out to be rho into a into u into v minus u whole square into sin theta that is Newton meters per second. So this is the work done by the jet onto the plate. So this is a pretty easy analysis almost as analogous to the previous one. and the inclined plate which was stationary. Now let us move on to some numericals on these topics.